Good morning, you guys. It's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog. Happy May. I cannot believe that it's May. What on earth is happening? Time is moving too fast. I still have my giant balloon, so disregard that. <laughs> Time is moving so, so quickly. It's insane to me. We are almost halfway done with 2023 already. Like, we are officially more than a third of the way done. Now that April is over, we're four months in, like this is insane. So in today's vlog, we are going to be getting ready to start a brand new month. I do these monthly reset vlogs every single month. I've been doing them since last July, I think was my first one. So it's been almost a year at this point that I've been doing these monthly reset vlogs. They are just my favorites. They actually like genuinely really help me get started for a brand new month, like get my mind in order, get my space in order, like get my life together. They're just so helpful. And bonus, they're also really fun to film. So. Let's get started. As you guys know, if you've seen any of my previous monthly reset vlogs, we do this generally in about two parts. First part I call the physical reset. That's when I'm cleaning my room, cleaning my bathroom, like really getting my physical space in order. Today, I also want to clean outside my room. Like I wanna clean the kitchen and the living room in my apartment. I'm filming this video a couple of days in advance because this upcoming weekend for me is graduation weekend. I will be doing a whole graduation series of vlogs. So fear not, every moment, will be captured but my family and then my roommates family members are coming to the apartment as well and we just want it to be as clean and presentable as possible so I figured what better timing to clean the apartment than when I can also film it and include it in the reset vlog and then the second part of the video will be my more like mental reset that's where we're gonna do like goal setting my books all of that kind of stuff my notion that is more about getting mentally prepared for a new month if you guys are new here hello and welcome to the channel I am so glad to have you here my name is is Charlotte. I am about to graduate from the University of Michigan. I do a lot of college productivity and lifestyle vlogs, so if those are up your alley, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. But without any further ado, let's get started with the physical reset portion of the video, cleaning up basically my entire apartment. I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. I know I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. Let me just hold your hand once more Ooh, 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 ooh I wanna take you out Ooh, 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 ooh Show you what I'm all about Ooh, ooh, ooh Make up for what we lost Tonight is the night that we're gonna fall in love I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin There's a new part of me, a part I want you to see You haven't seen the best of me, I know You can try to fool yourself, like you love somebody else But you and him will never feel the way we do Ooh, 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 I wanna take you out Ooh, 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 show you what I'm all about Ooh, 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 make up for what we lost we gonna fall in love I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin So with the room clean and the apartment organized, we are done with the physical reset portion of the vlog. Y'all, it felt so nice to deep clean this place. Like I have not deep cleaned in quite a while. I've done like surface level cleaning, but 
especially like outside of my own room, like the living room, the kitchen, all of that stuff. I haven't deep cleaned in months. I went in, I didn't vlog all of it, but I like, I swiffered all of the floors. I mopped, I swept, wiped down all the countertops, cleaned up all the dishes. Like I went ham and cheese on this kitchen and living room. But now we're gonna get into the mental reset portion of the video. I think I'm gonna scale back what I'm doing for this May reset in terms of like my mental reset. I usually like go in, I, I go over my goals for the previous month and then I set a whole bunch of new goals for the new month and I do my bullet journal and I do my notion and I usually like, it's kind of a whole thing. But for this month, I really wanna scale back just because it's going to be a very like unstructured month for me, I guess is how we'll put it. I'm gonna be traveling at the very beginning of the month I have a trip to Disney planned with my roommates as a graduation present to ourselves. We decided to book a trip to Disney in Florida. So we'll be gone for five days. We're gonna just have so much fun. But we've got that happening at the beginning of the month. And then I also need to travel home at least once. And I need to decide, am I moving out? in May or am I waiting until July? Like there's a lot of moving parts in May and there's gonna be a lot of traveling. So I don't wanna like set a bunch of goals for myself that are gonna be like hard to achieve because my schedule is gonna be very different day to day. So that is basically just to explain like, I won't have a bullet journal segment of this video because I am like woefully unprepared. I didn't print out any pictures or anything. Like I don't have the stuff to make my May bullet journal right now. So I won't be able to make my bullet journal. I'm scaling back on the number of goals that I'm setting. It's just gonna be, like I said, kind of a scale back for the entire thing. Okay, so I've got my Notion open on my phone and we're just gonna go through my April goals and kind of see how we did. So for April, I also scaled back from what it was in March. I felt like I really was on a goal setting kick at the beginning of the year. I thought it was just really fun to set some goals for myself for each month. So kind of from January to March, I set a lot of goals for myself for each month and it kind of started getting overwhelming with the number of goals that I was setting. So for April, I scaled back and I was just focusing on two major things. The first thing that I was focusing on was to work on building my routine. Two of my overall goals for the entire year is to have a consistent morning routine and a consistent night routine. So that was one of the things that I wanted to focus on in April. So kind of the four main things I wanted to do underneath that goal were to do morning workouts, journal in the mornings, read three books, and do my evening journal and gratitude. Allow me to be so honest. I failed at every single one of these goals. <laughs> Actually, that might not be true. I think I did do my morning journal every day and I'm on track to have read three books. So I may have been being dramatic, but morning workouts and my evening journal and gratitude just didn't work out for me. There really isn't much more to say than that. I just didn't prioritize this part of my life this month. I think my reasoning was that April was gonna be my last like normal month with school and my regular routine of classes and all of that kind of stuff. But that ended up not being true. Like my classes ended in the middle of April and then I had finals week and it's just been a very like, the whole month has not felt the same, like the first half of the month and the second half of the month have felt very different. So I think that made it hard to focus on routine because there wasn't really a routine. Then the second major thing I wanted to focus on in April was what I called prepping for my big girl life. The three things underneath this goal were to file my taxes, apply to five or more jobs, and then contribute $300 to my retirement account. So I did file my taxes, which ended up being kind of fun. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like I'm definitely in the minority of people that think like organization and like tallying your money and all that kind of stuff is fun, but I kind of enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie. I used TurboTax because I was really stressed about filing my taxes alone for the first time. I did end up having to pay a pretty significant amount of money in taxes. So that part wasn't fun, but I was proud of myself for getting them done on time and finishing them and all of that stuff. Okay, the next goal was to apply to five or more jobs and I'm still in the process of completing this goal. Like I mentioned, I'm filming this video a couple days early. So April is still not over for me while I'm filming this. So I still have a couple of days left to apply to some jobs, but we are making progress towards this goal and I think we will achieve it by the time the month ends. And then same thing with the last one, contribute $300 to my Roth. Again, this is something that I'm planning on doing in the next couple of days. So this hasn't technically been done yet, but it will get done by the time April is over. And those were my goals for April. Definitely scaled back. Um, and I would say that this is my worst month on record, potentially, but I actually had a really good April and I felt just like happy and content and like even though I was sad about school ending and all that stuff like 
generally in my life I felt really good and I felt really in control in a lot of moments so even though I didn't like do the goals that I set for myself I'm still counting April as a major win with that said let's go into my notion on my computer and update my entire spread to be May themed this is quite literally one of my favorite parts of the reset vlog I think it is so fun to just go in I update my pictures I update my emojis update my color scheme and it's just like a really fun way to kind of like mark the transition of a new period for me so let's head to pinterest find some aesthetic looking may themed pictures and update the notion okay the notion is all made it looks so so good like I mentioned I just love making these notion pages it feels like doing a vision board but more of like an aesthetic vision board rather than like what I anticipate like actually happening during the month that's basically like a mood board for the month I guess but for May kind of the color scheme that I'm channeling is pink I don't know May just feels like a pink month to me so we went for lots of pink flowers and like pink champagne rosé all of that kind of vibe here on the notion page and then for my little icon this month I decided to go with this little slice of cake with a strawberry on top it just felt so springy and like I usually go for like a flower or a plant of some kind but when I saw that I was like no no we need to do this little piece of cake then I also updated all of my little pictures throughout just to match the banner up top same sort of vibe pink flowers and like just spring not quite summer yet that's kind of what we're going for but now I'm gonna go in on my phone it's just easier for me to do this on my phone for when I'm editing it's much easier to have a recording of my phone than a recording of my computer so we are going to go into my notion and get rid of all of these April goals and change them into my May personal goals so like I mentioned I really want to scale back Back for May and really just focus on like the bare bones things that I need to do so I can have more of like a vibes type of month <laughs> this month is not going to be very structured for me like I mentioned I'm anticipating it being very fluid and like there's gonna be a lot of moving around and I'm not really gonna be like in the same place for very long during the month so I really for my personal goals for this month want to focus instead on the things that I need to get done that I can do anywhere so for example my first goal is going to be to apply to five or more jobs I kind of explained this in my April reset vlog but if I, I know that five jobs, especially like when I'm looking for jobs and May is going to be like my primary job searching month. I know that five doesn't seem like a huge number, but if I set the number higher, it feels overwhelming for me. And then I like it backfires and I won't do it. So we're keeping with five. I'm also going to keep my financial goal of contributing $300 to my Roth IRA. And then my final goal for May, I know this feels like super underwhelming, but my final goal for May is going to be again to read three books. I think once May is over, like for the for June and for the rest of the summer, I will have more goals that kind of align better with what I did um, for like January, February, March, April. But for May, we've already gone over this. It's just going to be a chaotic month and I don't want to feel stressed that I'm not meeting my goals. My goals are supposed to help guide me along my like lifestyle and figuring out like the kind of lifestyle that I want to have so I feel like if they're becoming more of a chore to do them than actually like becoming the life that I want to lead then that's not productive and that's not what I want so I didn't really have a ton of goals already in mind for May and I didn't want to just invent them out of nowhere for the sake of having them so we're just going with three goals for May now my last goal was to read three books that is going to bring us into my favorite section of the vlog my book discussion we we'll call it book group oh my god should we call it book club? We are gonna go talk about the books that I read in April and the books that I want to read in May. Okay, welcome to the book club setting. We always just sit over here on the floor when we're discussing books. Oh, this might be my last month of sitting on the floor discussing books. We're not gonna think about that. Okay, so like always, we're gonna start with the books that I read in April, and then we're going to move on to the books that I hope to read slash plan to read in May. First up, we have All Good People Here by Ashley Flowers. I loved this book. This was the most bone chilling book I've ever read. Okay, generally, I'm not a huge fan of like horror or thriller or suspense, but I've discovered that I love murder mystery books, especially like cold case murder mystery books. So I've read One of Us is Lying, I've read A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, and I loved them. 
and I heard good things about this book and the cover is really pretty which is honestly one of the reasons that I was looking at it and I devoured this book. The first half took me like a week to get through and then I read the second half in one sitting. It was so so good. It was my critique sort of critique meh. Just something I noticed, honestly, it didn't bother me because I wasn't super familiar with the case that it was similar to, but this book is very similar to the John Benet Ramsey murder case that like actually happened back in the 90s. This book is like a fictional murder mystery, but like the details of the case are almost exactly the same as an actual case that happened. So it wasn't like the most original. I think it could have been a little more original, but it was very good. I, like I said, I devoured this book. Here's a little description if you want to read what it's about. But this book was phenomenal. I think I'm going to give it four and a half out of five stars when I do my book review. Side note, I like I mentioned in the beginning, we're not doing bullet journal because... I just don't have the photos yet. I am so behind on my bullet journal book reviews, you guys. I have done two of them for the whole year. I haven't even finished the book review for the books that I read back in January yet. So I'm very behind. But when I do my book review, this one will be getting four and a half out of five stars. Okay, next up for April, we have Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I enjoyed this book. I heard a lot of good things about this book, like on book talk, bookstagram. This book is not for the innocent. It's got a very like fun cartoony looking cover. Um, so you would think like, oh, it's, it's young adult. This is 21 plus. Don't read this if you're a minor, please. Here's the back description. If you want to know a little bit more what it's about, you can pause and read that. But usually romance books have like somewhere between zero and 5% spice i would say the the spiciest books i've read have been like 80 percent plot 20 percent spice this book is like 50 percent plot the, the other 50 percent is just adult scenes so <laughs> it was a fun read it was really like well written the characters were interesting um, but it is definitely not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Hannah Grace actually has another book that's coming out really soon, I think. So I think I'm going to order that. I'm not sure when it's coming out. Oh, okay. October. <laughs> so I do think I will read that book when it comes out because this was good, but viewer discretion advised. Reader discretion is advised. I'm probably going to end up giving this like a three and a half out of five. We'll have to see. Okay, and then finally, the last book I read in April was Other... Whoa. <laughs> Other Birds by Sarah Addison Allen. I've been reading this book since January. I am so close to being done with it. I have like a quarter of it left. This book, I don't know what's happening in this book. It's very much just like vibes and very little plot. And I feel like I'm at the point in the book where I should kind of like understand not only what's happening, but also like why it's happening and we're just not there yet. So this might kind of just be more of like a slice of life style book. I think that's kind of what it is. So even though this book took me four months to read, I did enjoy it or like I am enjoying it. It's just very slow. I'm not like... It's not a page turner. So I really have no idea what I'm gonna rate this one. I, I mean, obviously I still need to finish it, but I, I really don't know. This might be the first book that I like don't give a rating. <laughs> I'm just like, it. I read it, it happened, but I don't know what to do with it. Okay, moving on to the books I hope to read in May. First up, we have Things We Hide From The Light by Lucy Score. This originally was gonna be one of the books I read in February, but I'm actually so glad that I saved it for May because the cover, I don't know, it's pink, so it could have gone for February or May. They were both like pink theme months for me, but this just feels more like a May book. The more that I looked at it, I was like, this feels more like a May book. She is quite thick, so this one is definitely gonna take me a while to get through. <laughs> Although the other one, the first like book in this series, Things We Hide From The Light, no, Things We Never Got Over, I read back in September and it was, it, in contrast to the book I'm reading right now, it was a page turner, it is very good. So I'm hoping that this book follows suit and is very entertaining. Here's the back cover if you want to pause and read what this one is all about. I'm really excited for this one. I've had this book since the end of February and I've been holding on to it, waiting for May. I'm a very like go by the vibes kind of reader. Okay, for the next two books that I'm hoping to read in May, we're gonna have to go to my Goodreads 
because I don't actually have them. Okay, so the second book I wanna read, I just found on Goodreads. It's called The Mostly True Story of Tanner and Louise, and it just seemed so good. I've been trying to find more like non-romance books. Um, generally, like I love romance books, but I don't like to read too many of them right in a row. Just like they start to feel repetitive and like, I don't know, sometimes I like to branch out, like read about other things that like don't have to do with romance. Plus this book, Things We Had From The Light, is going to be a romance it's like a rom-com and it's quite large so i'd like to have something to kind of like break that up afterwards and this book the mostly true story of tanner and louise sounds just like this fun road trippy like slice of life sort of like i don't know adventure that's just different than anything i've ever read before so i'm excited to read this one i don't know if i'm gonna order it or i might get it from the library if it has if whatever library for whatever state I'm in has it, whatever, we'll have to see. And then thirdly, I'm actually having a lot of trouble deciding what I want my third book to be for May. So I'll put the covers of the ones that I'm considering on screen right now. They are If We're Being Honest by Kat Shook, You Shouldn't Have Come Here by Geneva Rose, Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin, and Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple. Very odd eclectic mix of books for sure. Got like a creepy thriller, like murder disappearance mystery. We've got um, a fun little like family adventure. We've got like long time romance and like friendship. There's just like a lot of different vibes going on, which is why I'm like having a hard time deciding. Someone also in my last reset vlog said that I should read You've Reached Sam by Dustin Thau. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And I read a little bit about it and it seems really good, but it seems like it's just gonna be like, ruin your life sad. So I might have to read that in the fall. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of giving me fall vibes, but I'll keep you guys updated. If anyone has any suggestions for May books, let me know. To the person that commented about reading You've Reached Sam, I, I, your suggestion is noted. It just doesn't, it's not feeling like a May book to me. It's feeling like a fall book. So I will keep it on my list for the fall. For May, I'm kind of going for this like fun, bright summer, like happy, not necessarily like devastating kind of vibe. So if anyone has any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments or you can message me on my Instagram. But those are my books from April and my one physical book that I have for May. <laughs> I've really been on my reading kick recently, especially like reading um, All Good People Here and then Icebreaker. Like I've been flying through books recently. So I'm hoping to like keep that trend going. But that is it for the books. Let's head back over to my desk and wrap up this reset vlog. All right, squad. So this is the part of the video where we would usually do my bullet journal. But as we all know, I'm not doing the bullet journal this this round, this time around. So I think that is gonna be it for this little monthly reset for May. May, I don't really think of May as summer, but it's like definitely not quite spring either. I don't know, it like, it always feels like its own separate thing to me. So I just have a feeling about May. I have a feeling about this summer. Like I just, I have a feeling that they're gonna be great. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, if there are any other segments to these monthly reset vlogs that you wanna see, definitely let me know as well. I'm thinking of including maybe like a budget section in the future, but that might take a little bit of time to organize. So if you have any suggestions, let me know, but that is gonna be it for this one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. So let us dance Bye guys!